second. I'm going to be reading another book called Frankly, I'd Rather Spin Myself a New Name. The story of Rumpelstiltskin as told by Rumpelstiltskin himself. This is how the cover looks like. I'm reading off of my book today, my phone today actually. That's my Kindle on there. <laughs> All right, it says, my name is Rumpelstiltskin. I know, I know, horrible name, isn't it? Impossible to spell. I'm not sure what my mother was thinking when she gave it to me. Thankfully, she always called me, ah, uh, so did everyone else, I thought. I keep my real name a secret forever. Boy, I was wrong. Let me start at the beginning. I'm a traveling gold spinner. I go door to door all around the kingdom and spin straw into gold. It's not hard, really. All it takes is a bit of science and made a lot of practice. People pay me oodles of cash. Everyone loves gold. One day, as I was passing by the king's castle, I heard someone crying. I poked my head through an open window and sighed on a pile of straw sat a young maiden. What's wrong? I asked. The king ordered me to spin the straw into gold. She wailed. If I don't, I'll die. You're in luck, I said. I know how, but my skill has a price. I can pay you with my necklace, the maiden said. I would have rather have cash, but I accepted. While I worked, the maiden told me a long story about her father. He was poor and wanted to look important. So he told the king his daughter could turn straw into gold. She can't. When I finished spinning, the maiden gave me her necklace, and away I went. The next day, I heard sobbing again. It was the same maiden. This time, this time however, she was in a much bigger straw-filled room. The king was ever so pleased with the gold, she said, but now he wants even more. If I don't spend all of it, oh, okay, I said, what will you give me if I help you? I can pay you with my ring, she said. So I spun the straw into gold, took the ring, and went home. The following afternoon, I heard the maiden weeping again. She sat in an enormous room, packed wall to wall, floor to ceiling with straw. The king would marry her, she explained, if she spun all the straws into gold. I beg you to help me, dear sir, she said. I want to be queen, but I have nothing left to give you. That's when I got to thinking, I rather wanted kids. I've always wanted kids. But I didn't have any girlfriend or a wife. I traveled too much. Plus, I'll have to put my real name on a marriage license. And I didn't want to do that. You pay me later, I told the maiden. How about your firstborn son? Yes, of course, I'll give you anything, she said. I spun every last bit of straw in that room until into gold. Then I went back to my cottage and thought about what a great dad I'll be someday. Life went on. I traveled far and wide, spinning straw until my finger hurts. About a year later, I returned home. Newspaper had pulled up on my doorsteps. Right on top was a picture of the maiden now the queen holding a super cute baby. Woohoo, I cried. Time to collect my payment. The queen looked surprised to see me. What's your name again, she said. I ignored the question and asked for the baby. Certainly not, she said. 
I reminded her of her promise. But she just hugged the baby tightly and blabbled on about feeding times and teething pain and how she loved her boy and couldn't give him up. Blah, blah, blah. Fine, I said. Guess my real name in three days and you can keep your baby. I'll warn you, it's, it's very unusual. I've got it, the queen told me the next day. Your name is Casper. I shook my head. Ma Melcher? Nope. Balazar? Nope. Ichibod? Nope. You'll see? Nope. Uh-huh, I said. The second day, she guessed sheep shank, ribs of beef, legs of lamp. No, I said. Not even close. Tomorrow's your last day. That night, I danced with glee. The queen would never guess my name. I even sang a little song, ho, ho, ho. Only I know, hear my laugh, see my grand. My name is Rumpelstiltskin. On the third day, the queen asked, Is your name Puppernut? Lump a glump? Smear and shear? Or Lolly Poodle? Very creative, I told her, but no. She smiled. Is it rubber still skin? My jaw dropped. It's not possible. How in the world did you ever? What are you? A mind reader? She grinned and cuddled her baby. What a bummer. What about the toys I've bought? The nursery I've painted? I stamped on my foot hard. It went right through the floor when I tried to pull it out. My legs came off. It came off. I did learn a couple important lessons from my adventure. Get paid right away and take only cash. The worst part, now everyone calls me Rumpelstiltskin instead of Ah. My secret's out and I can't fit my name on my business card. Although I guess it's still better to be called Rumpelstiltskin than Lolly Poodle, right? All right, and that's all of it for today. That's the book. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see and talk to you guys soon. Bye!